Hi everybody, my name is Malay Bazaldua and today I would be talking about my chosen um, theory for our, our um, informative presentation. My theory is communication aggression. Um, this theory was formerly known as frustration aggression hypothesis that was founded in 1939 by five Yale psychologists who were John Dollard, Leonardo Dube, Neil Miller, O. H. Mower, and Robert Sears. Their um, initial theory basically explains how frustration leads to some form of aggression. So they have many um, scholarly um, books and articles where they go more into the depth about what this theory is. So the this theory, I chose it um, along with the chosen movie of The Notebook. Um, I chose this movie because I believe that the main character, one of the main characters, Noah, truly um, shows traits where um, uh, aggression um, kind of um, leads to, right? So um, as the theory is how frustration leads to some form of aggression, um, Noah has a lot of uh, frustration that, um, that shows aggression. So with this being said, I would like to say my three sources that were used in order to support my theory. Those would be implications of psychology, aggression, and constructive communication. Also, intimacy, communication, and aggressive, aggressive behaviors. And lastly, observing differences between healthy and non-healthy relationships. I would like to start off by um, explaining how my third source um, correlates how the information from my third source correlates to this theory. So it says how um, a lot of um, things that were mentioned were healthy and non-healthy parts of a relationship. So the non-healthy ones were a lot of, of things that I believe that Noah, the main character from The Notebook shows, which is obsession, um, being overly possessive and manipulative, and overall just having um, verbally abusive traits towards Ali, the other um, main character. So um, all of these traits were um, were said in this article, whereas it compares to what a healthy relationship is, <coughs> which is um, having communication and just having um, an overall um, very intimate um uh, place in their relationship so I that's why I kind of connected this into um how it just literally says what healthy is and what unhealthy is and aggression um comes off of comes off as an unhealthy relationship so with this being said um his aggression came from a lot of frustration that happened because his um Ali's parents did not approve of Noah so with this being said it goes along with my second source where it says intimacy communication and aggressive behaviors his aggressive behavior was from the frustration of his family not accepting him um, I do believe that this was found in the second phase of um, this um, of their relationship which would be the defining phase three phases are the honeymoon phase, the honeymoon phase, the defining phase, and lastly, which is the established phase. This was found in the defining phase where they were more so trying to establish what they wanted to be a relationship, but they couldn't because of um, just the way Ali's parents um, approached their relationship and how they did not view it as something that they wanted for their daughter. So um, this um, shows how um, the aggression that was um, in this um, point of their relationship is where um, there was high levels of conflict because of that and, and that also correlates to um, Noah's aggression. This is why they had conflicts because of what their parents did not want for her. Um, this then led to what was um, them separating for many years and then um, later on 
meeting back up and yet still having these complications in the relationship but now in a different form which was changed into the established place so now in this established place is that where they meet again but they're more so um, understanding what they wanted so this goes into my very first um, topic which is implications for psychology aggression and constructive communication um, this explains how forgiveness uh, sets the boundaries for reconciliation right so when one opts out to um one opts out the other one opts out so this ends the rapid cycle of um uh, psycho psychological um, aggression right so this right here is where um they just um they face the differences that they have and everything is solved that's why at the end um they will they end up together because they overcome all of these things that um made their relationship go into this fresh this form of frustration that they had where they could not be together this is where the theory of frustration leads to some form of aggression this um communication um of aggression was because they were not able to be together and um i hope this was very informative and um shows how much I kind of studied for this. Thank you. Good night.